In today's video, we're going to be talking about salt damage on our plow truck and how we are going to be cleaning this up and trying to prevent this. So this is going to apply to you if you're using your truck for plowing and salting. And what we can see here on the driver's side is there's so much salt sitting right here on the harness. What we've decided to do is use compressed air in order to clean up the truck. I got this idea from you guys. I made a short talking about, you know, salt on the truck and what's the best way to clean it. And a couple of you guys said use compressed air in conjunction with the vacuum and that's what we've done and that's what we're gonna do. So originally when I started tearing into this truck, I was thinking I was gonna pull the seats and really lift up the carpet and all that. But it turns out that the rear of the truck is not too bad and it's there's no salt back here and on the passenger side it's not too bad either there's salt on the floor mat but not on the harness too bad just a little bit to clean but as you get toward the closer to the seat not too bad so i don't think i need to pull the seats but i will show you guys the process of getting this salt out of the truck so step one is going to be to vacuum everything out, but check out this vacuum that I've got. It's got a Milwaukee battery on it. Pretty slick, huh? So works fine. Clean up some of this crazy salt. Okay, so I got the floorboard relatively clean. Now we're coming in with our vacuum and our shop air we've got the big shop vac here and we've got the air so let's get to it So I decided to go ahead and pull the seat out, rock it back, still in the truck, just unbolt it. And I'm gonna go ahead and cover this harness while I'm here. So I took the zip ties off, pulled it up, and I'm just going to see if I can wrap this in tape. It's gonna be a little bit tricky, but I will try. So pulling this tape like this, really wide, premium, UL listed electrical tape pull it to the length that I want in one piece hopefully we'll see if this works it's not guaranteed or anything but sneak it on up in here right there Cut it. Try to minimize contact with it. Try to wrap it.
wow look at that on this truck this wiring isn't too too thick and this tape wraps completely around kind of nice so this should have definitely been done before i even put a salter in here but again one of those things you get so busy this is like the first thing you should do to one of one of these trucks especially a plow truck Wow, that covered up real good. So now it's totally covered. Pretty slick like that. Wish I would have done that beforehand, huh? Moving over here, let's see what we can do with this Y connection. It's kind of a weird spot. Move that out of the way. That'll stay like that. Don't want to pull this all the way out. It's kind of an intricate piece. If I can just get this up above like so. Okay, pretty dry and clean. Minimum, if any, salt. Once you get the salt in there, it's kind of hard to get it out. But the compressed air most certainly had a huge impact. So, What do you guys think about this? Got to try to protect your truck. This is how it really should be from the factory for these type of trucks. Of course, that would raise the price quite a bit, I'd imagine.
right, how does that look? I did one layer here. How hard would it be to do two layers? Would that be worth it or what? I guess I'll do another layer, but I'll do it off camera. So this is where we are. As you can see, I covered this up real nice and I even continued it up into this area right here just to make sure. Now, this is going to be for the salt guys, the snow plow guys, or maybe, maybe even fertilization guys who are inadvertently bringing weird stuff into the truck that could be corrosive. But in my case, it's salt coming in here. And uh, yeah, that is uh, looking pretty decent. Another thing I can do, which I'm not gonna do today, but maybe for another day or I'll show you in another video, but you can put a hole right here as you can see like there's a drip of water i've been blowing this thing out and there's a drip of water still here what happens is this little bit of moisture that gets into the truck will make its way in here and get stuck this is like a low point i guess i will maybe i will go ahead and make that hole for you guys since we're here again i'm not telling you to do this but this is something that you can do if you want but only consult only do this if you consult with your mechanic and your insurance agent and call Ford but I'm gonna make this hole real quick I guess so here's the relief hole that I made you can't see like down to the ground because there's too much baffling in there but if I were to spill some type of liquid in this truck it would leak out of the truck instead of just sitting on this harness so this is not something i would recommend for anybody this is just something that i do and because i'm in here so much i'm plowing snow if for some reason i were to spill something in this truck or bringing all the snow in i'll get in and out 50 times then all that melted snow has a way to work its way out of the truck and you'd be surprised you know how I got the confidence to do this Ford will tape up a hole in a heartbeat if it anything in the scab that leads to the outside they put a little piece of tape on it and call it good so what I do is just uh, yeah if this was an issue I could tape it over but I'm gonna spray some anti-corrosive uh, product on there to prevent that from corroding which it won't anyway but just out of good faith I will do that and uh, put everything back together all right, so there is the metal protector sprayed in there. Uh, let's go ahead and put this back. Super easy to reassemble. Actually, I got to get those from outside. So, yeah, I guess I'll do that off camera because those ones are outside getting washed by the rain. But uh, nonetheless, covering up our entire harness here very nice worked out really good i uh, showed you guys a drain hole not recommended but for me i do it uh, that's that hole right there keeps the moisture down on the side of the carpet because it's just like water gets in here it sits here it can't get out the rubber floor gets stuck under there condensation it's got its own atmosphere down here so hopefully that will help Hopefully it won't get moisture in the other truck. It did not. You, like I said, you can't see down to the bottom to the floor because there's baffling and everything in the way. So it should be good. But uh, anyway, my name is Sean. This is DS Trucks. Comment below. Let me know what you think and I'll get this back together. But see you in the next video over and out.